Have you ever stumbled on a YouTube or TikTok viral video that is showcasing a miracle beauty product? And have you cynically asked yourself afterwards, is it as good as they claim? Today, Fiera Concealer is under the spotlight, so get ready for the ultimate reality check as we put Fiera Concealer to the test. Hello lovely people, welcome to my YouTube channel, Hey Spring Chicken. My name is Cordelia, and if you're a returning viewer, good to have you back. And if you're new here, welcome. Today's topic is Fiera Cosmetics, and in particular, the Fiera Concealer, which is everywhere at the moment. And I felt it appropriate that we trial it. So Fiera Cosmetics say that they are particularly suitable for the more mature lady. I am in that category, and it is said that it is offering the dewy-like complexion, easy coverage, it doesn't cake and it doesn't patch and it, it is offering easy application and it will even out your skin tone. Fiera Cosmetics, when I look on their YouTube channel and I've studied it, there are phenomenal amounts of four and a half, five star reviews. They have 10 shades on offer. The shade that I picked is a new shade and it's called Bisque. How did I find the correct shade? There is a very helpful find my shade on there and if you follow it, it will suggest the perfect shade. So it will ask you which one do you use? Do you use MAC? Do you use Estee Lauder? And it will suggest the correct shade. I found that to be really useful. So you will see me apply this Miracle Cream and at the end we will look at the pros and the cons and whether I would purchase it again. Mine cost me £16 and I purchased direct from their website. So join me now without any makeup on and we will start the process. So as you can see, that's quite a thick product. Along with the product, they did give a free brush. Now there are quite a few offers on there, but with this particular offer came this great foundation brush. Now it is a really nice brush. I do like it. However, I have use this before this is not a first impression and i have found that the foundation brush whilst it does give good coverage here on my cheeks for my under eye not so good and i actually like using my fingers so let's see the miraculous coverage take place let me show you the areas that i want to cover this eye is much worse than my right and I have quite a lot of dark coverage. I have been using the castor oil and that has helped, but nevertheless, I need some help. So tiny bit. You can use a concealer brush, but I do find fingers are very good. What it is saying is that it will move with the face so that it won't settle into the creases and that it gives this wonderful dewy effect. So I have put rather a lot on my eyes there is a reason for that I want to test the theory so just blending it out I was watching a Liz Eldridge YouTube and she was talking about blending after you put everything on she said take the top coat off and she would use a clean brush and I'm going to use the sponge and we're just going to take the excess off and hopefully that'll dab in to the creases so with without Let's do the other eye. What I can tell you, it is most definitely dewy. Using it on the top of the eye has, is a double-edged sword, really. It gives good coverage, but it actually dries out the lids, and therefore it can be difficult to put on a cream application. But we're gonna give it a go. I have got quite a lot left, so we will put some of that on my face. So it's not yet sunk into my creases. We will see. As I've mentioned, I have got quite a lot left. And what I'd like to do is try and cover some of my current blemishes. Now I have a little eczema spot there and I'm a little red under the nose. Let's go. I am going to use the brush this time. As you can see, straight away, this brush has absorbed most of the product. And why? I haven't liked using it as much as my own usual ones. I have quite big pores on my chin. 
and it has said that it does disguise the big pores. As a tinted serum, it's a little light for me. It's great for the under the eyes, but it's the wrong color for my face. So bear that in mind. I have gone for a shade of Bisque, which is a new shade, but if it's for your face, I will go slightly darker, particularly as we're going into the summer. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup and I will come back to camera. I've gone for a spring look today. So I've got mostly blusher rather than bronzer but I wanted to let you know how the makeup went on after I used the Fiera concealer as a product. As I mentioned earlier, I think it's a little bit light, and, but it did go on quite nicely, so I am quite pleased with it. I will add all of the products that I've used in the show more down below, and some of them may have affiliate links, so if you click and buy, I will receive a teeny tiny commission for which thank you. As I mentioned, I was watching a Liz Eldridge YouTube video and it was hints and tips how to get the best from your skin. And I've got to say, she is a wonderful professional makeup artist and I really enjoy her videos. But she was saying that when you have products like eye concealer, use a dry sponge, which is what you saw me using to get rid of any surplus, but really to take off the top coat. So less is definitely more, particularly for a day look. Let's talk about what I think of the concealer. This product is everywhere I look and I really wanted to trial it and I also wanted it to work. So has it worked? I have used this for pretty much a week and I've been testing it to see how it responds. And I have found that it does settle. Come in close and have a look at my eyes and I will point out where I see some issues. I struggle with concealer anyway and I really wanted to find one that wouldn't collect in my creases. I don't know if you can see but it is collecting a little bit and this is only after half an hour of application. I don't think this is gonna be the elixir of all concealers. I don't think that it's going to be the one that you're going to turn to. However, it is 16 pound, but it does offer quite good coverage. It is quite dewy. As I always say, keep your expectations down there, then you won't be disappointed. The concealer has pros and cons. The pro is that it is giving dewy coverage. It does look good and it doesn't cake and it's not expensive, it's 16 pound. My Estee Lauder was 47, 48 pound. So by comparison, it is good value. Does it do the job that it promised on the TikTok viral video? Is it going to give me that coverage, that non-cakey look, the look that they promise it's going to achieve? For me, the answer is no, it doesn't. I have found that come the end of the day, it has all but disappeared. So it didn't give me that long-term coverage. It also does crease a little, but it is, I can say, a reasonable product. Most of the reviews, the 22,450 reviews that it had on its own website were four and a half, five star. What star rating would I give it? I would say three, three and a half. Editor thinks that three to three and a half is a little stingy. However, it isn't going to replace my Trini BFF, but it does have a place on my makeup table. Three and a half, possibly four on a good day. All right, I will say three and a half stars. Would I buy it again? No, I'm not gonna be buying it again. It is quite good but it's not quite the miracle concealer that they are claiming that it is. Nevertheless, I do quite like this product. So, my final thoughts. So editor just said, again, I'm being a bit tight and I am looking at my face and it, it does look quite nice. So maybe I'll elevate it to a four. So what do you think? Have you used Fiera? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, then you very well might love this one because that's about the products that I used on my face and I still use now. So if you've made it this far, I want to thank you and enjoy the rest of your day, evening, weekend, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next week. And don't forget to subscribe.